Go on, Joey. So was your stuff. Yeah. So I'll just give like a really quick update on the the mappers platform. Uh, we have a V two coming out very soon. Uh, Kent has been super hard at work on rebuilding the entire backend for it, and then um, I actually jumped in and uh, built out a new front end for the platform. Uh, so it's going to bring a lot of cool new features. Uh, so you can check out the current staging at, at this URL here. Um, it's also available through the GitHub. Um, and this is going to be a little bit of a funny demo because all of the data hasn't been played into it yet. But uh, what this will allow you to do is now go in and select um, any hex uh, and see all of the uplinks that provided coverage for that hex in the Mappers platform. Um, and it'll be very cool once the actual data is in here, but uh, this is gonna be a, a sort of first release. There's a lot more stuff that I'd like to do. So like, we're just trying to get sort of a face on this new data set. And then I wanna collect a ton of feedback from the community uh, in the new mappers channel, and then build out a much more robust sort of V3 from this. Um, and some cool features is like, this is also gonna update in real time now. So as you sort of walk around, these hexagons will fill in accordingly. Um, and then it's also uh, really sort of nicely uh, structured for, for mobile as well. Uh, so this is gonna look real nice on a, on a phone. That's my update. I don't suppose it's gonna run on Android Auto, is it? <laughs> Android Auto, I haven't tested that. I don't think they're letting third-party maps on Android Auto yet. I think it's amazing, Joey. It looks great. Yeah, like, it's nice. I'm very yeah, excited about it. Looks great. It. Looks really interesting. Um, here, I'll show it to you on my phone. Just if this will uh, play nicely with me. Uh, but if anyone has feedback, like I'm, I'm gonna really like reach out to me um, or reach out in the Mappers channel. Uh, I'll schedule interviews. We'll talk about it. We'll take your notes. Um, so there's a lot of shaping that we can do sort of going into a new version. Um, I like that it's open as well, um, like the GitHub's there. So you can contribute as well, which is pretty Yeah, smart. there's a there's a list of, um, oh, here, we'll go ahead and open it as a, a native app, which is kind of a, a cool experience that you can do now. Um, this all works. And then on GitHub, there is a, uh, a full set of issues. If anyone's looking to contribute, you can jump in here. Um, there's a lot of stuff to, to check off before it's like done, done. But you should be seeing this live uh, this week. Oh, uh, awesome. one note is you will need to update the integration for your Mapper devices. Uh, we're working on the docs for that right now. Um, but going forward, the um, the endpoint will change the actual integration route. And then the uh, payload is just going to be latitude, longitude, altitude, and accuracy. So there may need to be some adjustments to make to the functions that you're using to feed your mapper. And we'll get that all documented and uh, clear before the transition date, which will be uh, the end of this week, at, uh, well, early next week on the 28th. You really have a problem with updating the, all these integrations because a lot of people had really a lot of problems with setting up that. I don't know if I quite caught that, but yeah, like we'll we'll try and make it very clear on the, the changes that need to be made to functions. Uh, the integration is just a one line change, so that should be uh, pretty quick. But the, the functions may need just a little more attention. I do have one question, Joey. Legit yeah, go for it. Uh, do you, are you by any chance showing the actual uh, phone location? Like when you're not driving? in this release, yeah. So as far as like driving around and mapping, uh, there's still some more that I'd like to do there. And it, you'll probably remember the old mocks that I did that were kind of more around cargo. Um, and so that's still sort of on the table. That maybe still a fork of cargo. Maybe it'll be part of this uh, sort of platform as it grows. Um, but I'm trying to balance the sort of use cases in my head of uh, analyzing the map data um, and then sort of doing the actual act of mapping. So, so we'll get it sorted out. But that's where I'm hoping to get that feedback. 
maybe it is good uh, idea for for some time maybe some month, one month or something like that to uh, make to forward uh, all data from old uh, integration to new so you can give time to to all users to transfer the integration links and to not lose uh, some data uh yeah unfortunately i think that the, the best path forward for us is to do a hard switch over. Um, but uh, yeah, anyone who hasn't updated their device um, sort of following that switch over, the, it will stop contributing uh, to the map. Uh, and then I'm sure we will see them in the Discord and hopefully be able to get them sorted out to, to continue to, to contribute. Thanks, Julie. I'm looking forward sure to this. <laughs> Me too. I'm I'm very excited to get it out there. At the at the moment, I have a convoluted convoluted way of seeing all. <laughs> well, I've got a few ways. I use cargo to see in real time when I'm in the car, and <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, or um, uh, when I get back home, I quickly open up um. Uh, Google Sheets, and I've got all the longitude and latitude, and I use a Go uh, Go uh, Google Sheets add-on just to plot all those on a map, just to see it when I get home before um, before Mappers updates on its like a four to six hour time frame. Is that time frame still going to be around? No, it'd be totally real time. Ah, oh, sweet, even better. <laughs> um, but real time without the device name associated. So there's hopefully a little bit of uh, anonymity attached to it that way. That's good. I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah. so, so it saves ha uh, having the weight. Like, it, is Mappers down or is my device not working? Or <laughs> Yeah, it, and it, as you sort of fill out a region with hexes, uh, hopefully it'll make that clearer too. And, and perhaps yeah. this data will move over to be the source for cargo in the sort of interim and we'd see live updating there as well. Um, there, there's a lot of opportunities to do a lot of new things with this data. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I look forward to feedback from everybody once we get this out there. I just want want to get back to to uh, talk about uh, use cases. Uh, if someone has uh, some place for use case in some uh, offices, schools, and things like that for integration and set, setting up uh, sensors for measuring uh, CO2 and things like that. And also for uh, uh, in some other use cases for setting up any other uh, sensors indoor and testing location for that, uh, feel free to contact me because we are currently working on pr project for uh, measuring some things indoor and also we, we are working on system for uh, testing uh, locations for setting up sensors with uh, our glamour devices and uh, some other things so if if someone has uh, some idea some place uh, you can contact me so we can see if there is some possibility to make something together Joey, the maps were cool, man. That, that, that's looking really good. Uh, Thank you. I like the direction. It's, it's been fun. Yeah, I really like the direction that you're going there. Uh, that looks great. Um, I am going to have to kind of wrap this call up. Um, if there's if there's any last thoughts, you know, please do jump in here. But I am going to have to uh, jump over to another call here. Um, I'm actually kind of already a little late for it, but. Um, if anyone has any last thoughts, otherwise. Um... Good call. Thank you, Travis. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining. And uh, please join us for a very special edition on Validators with the Helium team next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. I'll see you there. Adios, folks. <laughs>